Welcome back to Ozark Mountain Goats. We're going to show you how to do a functional test. Now we already did this functional test because we didn't want to record something and something not work, which happens occasionally. So anyway, everything checked out fine, but I'm going to run you through it on the screen up here to show you what you do to do that functional test. Now, when you turn it on, this is what kind of screen will, will come up, except for the system name, and that's what you name your unit. Now, where you go right up here to the little leaf and press it. Freeze and vacuum is the ones that you'll be concerned with here. So what you do is you'll kick on, just touch it once, and it will slide by itself, and the uh, compressor of the freeze dryer will kick on. You run that for 30 minutes, and at the end of 30 minutes, you leave that one on, but you also hit vacuum. Now vacuum will run until the MTORR gets below 500. And when it reaches that 500 mark, you just simply press done and it checks out good. And that's all there is to it. And that's all there is to it. So like Jim said, we have done that, and so now we are ready for our bread run. We're getting ready to do that. Josie's gonna load up some bread, and it needs to be moistened with water. So she's gonna spray it with, with water to moisten it. And then we're gonna put the trays in, and we're gonna run the bread run. Bread run will take out a lot of off odors that the manufacturer does, kind of like removing the new new uh, car smell. So we're getting ready to do that and we'll start it up and show you how it's done. Okay guys, I've got the five trays loaded down with moistened bread and I just used a spray bottle. Um, also, in case anybody's wondering, this took about two loaves of bread to do this. So now they are going into the freeze dryer. Okay guys, this handle, remember, has a double latch on it. So it'll, it'll click and then click again. So remember to have your valve shut off. The freeze dryer uh, screen up here will basically tell you what to do in every step. Start. Premier oil pump is what we have, so there you go on that, and save. Now wait 15 minutes before loading trays. We'll let it run, and in 15 minutes, load our trays. Okay guys, it's freezing right now. I'm gonna freeze the bread and then dry it. And probably in the middle of the night, it'll be done. It will start the back pump on its own, does everything. So basically, you just kind of follow the instructions on the screen, it's pretty simple to do. So anyway, we'll be back tomorrow to show you the bread finished, freeze dried, and ready to pitch to the chickens. It's the next morning guys, and the bread run is done. At the very end, it asks if you want more drying time, and I punched no, completely shut down. I think it was 12 and a half hours, something like that to do the bread run. And I'm about to take it out, what I have to do now is open the valve before I can open the door.
And you never want to open that valve with water in your bucket. But our bucket's empty. Trays are warm. There's no cold spots anywhere. And I'm just going to set this down over here. And chicken food. Chicken food. But there you go, guys. It's that simple. Anyway, it's all done. We're going to take this out, crumble it up, and give it to the chickens. And uh, our next batch is going to be scrambled eggs. And I must say, the the delivery went perfect. The process went perfect. Hopefully that stays the same over the next year. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it. Hang in there and we'll catch you later.